Ladies and gentlemen, United States of Africa, man. Yo, I'm gonna check out a brother from Ghana, man. He goes by the name Black Prophet. These are the conscious minds that are supposed to be in the music industry today. But because the human race is in such a way that when you do conscious ish, nobody listens to you. But this song comes very relevant now. Man, it's your boy, Mr. J, coming all the way. Please pause for a minute, hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and the notification. Give us a thumbs up and share this link. We gonna check out a throwback from this Ghanaian artist, man. The track, the title of this one is African Leaders. In a moment where we have all the the the, the end stars and everything, the malpractice of everything in Africa, this song comes in handy. It's of the Tribulations album. You dig? Let's go. Pay attention, African leaders. Ooh, stay away from corruption. United States of Africa, your children are crying. When Africa unites, I'm telling you, unanimously unite. There's not gonna be no European in our business. There's not gonna be no banking system. We gonna be deciding how much we sell our raw products. Coffee, cocoa, diamond, anything, timber. I'm telling you, but because we are like scattered, div united with stand, divided with four, we are divided. And the white supremacists, the European colonial masters are ensuring that African leaders stay divided. It is what it is. African teachers, give us your I was born in a Zion, I should live as a lion. African leaders stop the corruption. African teachers give us that good education. Teach us about Africa. Around the world, the make it seems like the history, the, the contact between the white and the, the, the African is like the white is the master. And we, the Africans, are the oppressed. You, don't get fooled now. Blacks were kings and queens and princesses and, and princes before we could do our own ish. Wake up from that slumber, black prophet. Bless your soul, man. Bless your soul. I learned and I was born in a Zion and I grew as a lion. I learned how to work. I was taught how to be a man. I was taught how to work for my own and provide for myself. No corruption. Work with ethics, integrity. Learn how to be my own man. But today, kids want to do it the fast route. You dig? Let's back it up and go. Learn to know to respect and treat the planet right. Cha 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 cha. I was taught to honor my mother and father so that my days will be longer on earth. The Bible, the good book, teaches us that. I was taught to love my fatherland. Patriotism. Sometimes you ask yourself if these African leaders, if these African political elites are patriotic. Because you still, you help the white man rob our resources for some personal gains in your pocket. You take that money, you, you, you store it in, in, in the Swiss bank out of the continent. You and your family, your cohorts, tribalism, nepotism kicks in. And just you guys enjoy the rest of the people. Starve with hunger, no education, no hospital. That is not patriotic. You don't love your nation if you do that. It's crazy, y'all. I wish they could. I wish the African leaders could actually stay away from corruption and think about Africa first, not their 
masters abroad, especially France, man. I kick against this country because you guys don't have a, the, the, an, a clue of how bad this country has, has maltreated Africa. And they are brewing and breathing this disunity amongst African leaders, corrupting them. You did, but y'all. African teachers cannot give us the right education. The generations upcoming, going, they're going to flop. It is our job to teach. Whenever I have an opportunity to teach about the realities of Africa, I go all out. Trust me. Nobody likes what is happening in Africa. Why do, why do we see Africans dying in the Mediterranean, being enslaved in Libya, up north of Africa by the Arabs? They are Arabs. They are not Africans. I'm talking about Tunisia, Algeria. If you're from that part of the globe, I'm sorry, but we got to be honest to one another. Africans have been treated like, treated like slaves to work in farms. I'm talking about in the Middle East, sisters that are stuck in Kuwait. It's crazy because we got shithead African leaders. You think you can mess around with an American citizen like that? Nah, you got to have a different thing coming. So they say that religion is the way of life. So they say. In Africa, we have our cultures that was our ways of life. So they say religion is the way of life, but in Africa, we had our culture. We had our voodoo practices. We had our spiritualism. We live perfectly fine. And then they came with the Bible, but behind the Bible, there was a sword. They maim you, they brainwash you while they're robbing you, they're killing you with the swords. They're making you to hate your own. That is why in, in, in Africa today, we have African so-called charlatan Pentecostal pastors. I'm not saying that they're not good, of you, good ones amongst y'all. The rest, they keep fighting. Don't go to that church. If you guys pray to the same Bible, the same God, why are you telling your... Come on now. This is crazy, though. And there come the little book, the book of my Bible stories. Five. Where the good godly signs were white and the bad evil signs were black. Isn't it funny that the good book, the Bible, the white supremacist, the white, the vampiric nature, they, 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 they say everything good is white. It turns out everything good is, is not is 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 not actually white. We gotta look at Trump, the most corrupt son of a bitch I've ever seen in my life. The most corrupt, I'm telling y'all. You go to Brazil, man, you have all an all white political elite there is corruption all over in that country it's crazy and then everything black anything black is african yeah we black we black effort ain't no changing that embrace your blackness black panther thought y'all's that well, very powerful he said he has never ever seen a white person turn into a black but the reverse is true we see black people bleaching their skins i'm talking about my folks from congo you're some piece of shit ass black folks man i'm sorry if you bleach your skin in africa to be like the white man bro you will never be look at the blacks in the u.s they are light skinned like hell, but they still get. Come on now. I got friends that are mixed with white parents. They don't even pass to be respected. But still, our African family, brothers and sisters, are buying bleach, chemicals, too much chemicals to be like the white man who does not even appreciate your life. Come on now. Think about it. That means that we all came from the same race. Facts. In the old Asian days, we were all the same color. Ooh. 
in the old ancient days, we were the, we were all the same color. To tell these people to stay away from corruption, man, it's like it's crazy. See what is happening in Nigeria today. All oh, they cannot end SARS. Why? Corrupt leaders want, you know, it's crazy. There's a lot at play here. Now because they call Africa the third world, but everything comes from Africa. How do you call a place that feeds the global economy raw resources? The third world. How come? Because African leaders are not united. They are corrupt. It's only in Africa that I will see a colonial master who happily put in place a former rebel leader as president of... Come on now. We got the gold, the diamond, and the oil. Eh, what a great soil. Everything you throw on the ground. We got all the resources, diamond, bauxite, cup in abundance. We even got oil. The land in Africa, the soil is epic. That's why everything you throw on it pops off green, grows. But still. African leaders get united, stand up, be woke, wake up. African youth, we cannot count on the leaders anymore. Now we have the case of the dude in Guinea trying to run again. Conde, Africa, it's like the same shit all across every time. And if you look at this whole fucked up shit of this president like, liking to stay in power forever and ever, they are from the French colonial powers and colonies. Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Guinea Conakry. Should we continue? Look at their history with their presidents. And guess who supports them and backs them up? France. Our passport is still not respected. And our education is not accepted. It really got to change in any way. Our past is not respected. Our education is, is shit. They make it in such a way that we stay in that same copying mentality. They don't get us get to that production mentality. It's it's crazy, man. This 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 song right here is very powerful. I appreciate the brother asked me to check it out, man. Thank you very much. Teachers, give us your United States of Africa, please don't sell the lands no more. Facts. United States of Africa, free speech, I say. United States of Africa, don't sell the land anymore. Free speech. You cannot have free speech. You talk, they kill you. You you speak the truth, they kill you. It's crazy. United States of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Black Prophet, man. African leaders, I wish all of you guys can listen to this ish, man, and take heed and try to make Africa a greater continent and not and stop sinking the continent, man. The continent has sunk to a, a new low. It's crazy, and the white colonial masters are happy because in the background they can keep stealing. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my time, man. Mr. J coming all the way, man. Black prophet, African leaders. Be good, be nice. Give us a thumbs up. This shit is very... This shit has a whole lot of message in it that we cannot dwell on it all in one take. You dig?
Don't forget to share this link, man. Give us a thumbs up, man. Hey, I hope you let that commercial play. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Keep it living and happy weekend. You dig?